today's video, I'm going to talk about making sense of these internal door lock relay wiring scenarios that they have in always directed electronics alarm and remote start combo systems. I get a lot of people who ask about these things all the time. And here's why, because in a typical alarm system or a remote start, whichever, they always have transistorized negative outputs which typically trigger an external relay, something like this. Even people that are used to looking at relays and wiring relays like this are actually thrown off by actually how this wiring in this harness just doesn't make any sense to them at all. And I can understand exactly why. It began way back when, when they used to have the 451 external relay pack, which did five wire add actuators, negative, positive, one wires. And people would get the books and just look at them and go, hmm? No one can understand what the heck this stuff means. So in this video, I'm going to attempt to try to simplify the lack of ease to wire these systems up for the average person, because that's who I produce these videos for, is the average guy. So I'm gonna break it down in average guy language. So what I did is I already highlighted some of these wires, which I'm only targeting six wires here, which is the lock and the unlock output wires, which apply to adding a keyless entry system using this system. Now, I'm using an Automate. This is a model AM2, which is just basic keyless entry, which says horn honk, don't my supervision, lock unlock, avoidity channel two output for like trunk release, real, real simplified. So nothing exciting going on here. And to make it even more simple, I'm going to actually open up this harness. I'm going to delete every wire that's not required to make it even that much more easier for you to understand when I try to demonstrate this. So going down the line, red is your constant. We need that. And we know we need the black. Yes, we know that. Okay, so there's your red, there's your black. So I'm going to power the system up using these two. Since the remotes are already programmed, I don't need to use the ignition or the valet switch or the programming switch, so we won't use that. Here is my one, two, three. You can see these two, the violet and the violet black, are twisted together and fused because this is... I'm going to explain that in a second, how that works with the relay, so we'll come back to that. Blue, black, green, black, white, black. These wires should pretty much stay the same across all directed electronic systems. So at least they gave us that, and that won't drive us too crazy. And here's all the extra wires which you're not going to use. And I'm just going to prep this up as if I was going to install the system right now in a regular vehicle. For simplification for you all. Okay, so what we're left with here is my power and my ground. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist these guys up real quick. gonna run these over to my power supply so that way it'll, it'll supply power to my system I'm sure I think you can hear that that there is the relay clicking that's what's connected to these five heavy gauge wires those are the output leads of the relay that's a relay clicking now I'm going to show you how these things work and how you need to wire them up for your application that relates to your car right now. This wiring need not be complicated at all. It's actually pretty straightforward once you get your brain wrapped around what's going on here with these systems. And basically, this is the simplest way that I can explain it from my standpoint when wiring these, these relays in this way. Instead of having two relays in your hand, having one for your separate lock wire and another for your unlock wire, here's basically how it works. Inside the unit, you have the coil, which is going to be pin 85 and 86. Those do not exist in this harness. If you're looking for them, you're going to look for a long time because they ain't there. They are already built into them. They are controlled by the RF commands from the keyless or alarm system that you are working with. Okay, So 85 and 86 are gone. So there you go. There's 40% of your work you don't have to even deal with. So now all you're left with is your five wires here. So here's how we're going to wire this unit up. You have violet and your violet black which are fused together right here now the fuse would be used if you're using a positive trigger type of door lock system or an add an actuator five wire or a positive trigger type of door lock and this is going to be 87d's here going to be your normally open connections on your relay which is here on the top pin 87 then you have 
output legs, which are common. Output number 30, pins on the relay, as I call them. So in most applications, they are. If you're writing actuators doing negative tap door locks, positive tap door locks, these are your output legs. That doesn't apply to adding actuators or a five wire, of course, but we're not gonna really get into those because those aren't really even that popular anymore. However, I'll show you how that works in that scenario in a second. Okay, so now looking at this kit, you'll see it's looking a whole lot simpler and cleaner than it was a second ago when I started, right? So right here, here's your 87, here's your 87A, here's your 30 outputs. This is already wired up for power. This is just the antenna and the remotes. So here's all you got working. So if you wanted to do positive tap door locks, for instance, right? All we gotta do is put this, the 12 volts here. When I click lock, I'm gonna get 12 volts on my lock wire. When I hit unlock, I'm gonna get 12 volts on this wire. Simple enough. If I put this wire 87 to ground, I'm gonna get ground on the output. So ground on 87, I'm gonna get ground on 30 outputs for your lock and unlock. So you one wire in that's gonna control the polarity of the outputs on 30. It's just that simple. So for a Ford or something like that, GMs, which are positive trigger, a lot of them are one wires. You could have negative through the resistor. Just put the resistor on your lock, unlock wire, whichever applies on your output wire of 30. It's just that simple. You were doing a five wire. You're gonna have 12 volts, again, on this wire. Boom, put it here. You're gonna have your motor side, which is gonna go to 87A. Then you're gonna have your switch side on your 30. Now, if you were doing one wire, I'll go back to one wire. You have 87A, which is your normally closed. I'm sorry, 87, normally open. Put this guy to ground, twist it up with the ground, and say you're gonna do one wire negative trigger door locks, right? So this is gonna, you got ground on the input side 87 of your relay, your top, it's gonna put ground on 30, which are here, lock and unlock. If you have negative unlock through 370 ohms, for instance, you just strip this back, put the resistor in line, put the two together onto the target wire in the vehicle, there you have it. It's not as scary as when you first look at it. I know when you look at this book and you say, oh my God, what the heck is this? You know, what did I get into, right? All you need to do is just stop. Watch me. I show you what the deal is, man. It's no problem. Just look at it this way. 85, 87, don't worry about them. They're done internally controlled already by your remote system. 87, 87, right? Then you got your 87A which is here, you get your 30, which is here, one for your lock, one for your unlock. Okay, so instead of having two of these relays and having the pins to wire up, it's already done internally in the module, and all you gotta do is just twist it up, put a little pre-thought into what you're gonna do, what you're working with, what you need to get on the output side, and wire it up as planned. And if you follow what I'm saying here and apply it to the book and know the terminology, 87A, what's that? 87A is, your, is right there, it says, it's a picture of it, actually, if you look at it, it says 87A. 87, there's your top pin. 30, right there. You just follow it along. It even tells you. All you need to know is, remember, that 30 is common output, 87A, normally closed. 87 is your normally open. And that's really all there is to doing these 